Now I would like to introduce TJ Fujiyoshi, President of the Student Council, to welcome you all here this evening. Good evening, everybody. My name is TJ Fujiyoshi, and it is my pleasure as Student Council President to welcome you to the class of 2015's Senior Recognition Night. I just want to start by reassuring the administration I will not be taking a selfie like Catherine did last year, so you're all set. On behalf of all the students here tonight, we would like to thank the people who have, made, who have helped us through the last 13 years, the various teachers and members of the faculty at this district. Personally, I would like to thank all of the teachers I've had here at Hopkinton, but especially Ms. Munch, Ms. Williamson, Ms. Donahue, Ms. O'Malley, Ms. Tortorella, Ms. Mackey, Ms. Stymus, Ms. Ferguson, Mr. O'Connell, and of course, Mr. Graber, for being excellent homeroom teachers. I would also like to thank Mr. Arger, Ms. Silver, Ms. Starr, Dr. Lynch, Mr. Keller, Ms. Geary, and of course, Mr. Bishop for their long-lasting and tireless efforts as principals of our schools. To my classmates, we made it, kind of. We still have two days, but, but we made it. In these bleachers are the most extraordinary young men and women I have ever met. Among us are some of the smartest, most athletic, passionate, talented, strongest, and hardworking people I will ever meet. There's something special about attending Hopkinton, as you will clearly see from the award winners and those being recognized tonight. At Hopkinton High School, there is a competitive, academically focused environment, but we still have outstanding extracurriculars. We produce gold key winners, state champions, all state level performers, and excellent theatrical shows, just to name a few. How can you do that? How can you have such widespread success? It's because of the school culture and climate at Hopkinning that enables everybody to reach their fullest potential. The school climate at Hopkinning could best be described by support, trust, and friendship. Throughout my high school career, I have received constant support from guidance, my teachers, and administration. Whatever the cases were, I knew that there was someone at HHS to help me by just talking to me or giving me advice. Building trust takes time and healthy relationships and interactions. It's the trust in a group mate that they'll do their portion of the project for homework or the trust in a student when you give them your keys and know they won't take your car for a joyride. The friendship stems from positive relationships that begin as soon as you walk in the door in the morning. When it's 7.23 and I'm rushing to Miss Allen's room, the first people who greet me are Mr. Bishop, Mr. Hanna, Mr. Pominville, and Officer Powers. In between classes, any combination of those four will be underneath senior balcony just being available for students or members of the faculty. I know that without these relationships, I will not be, this, these are friendships, trust, and support. I will not be the person I am today, and I certainly wouldn't be speaking for you tonight. I'd like to give my classmates some homework. I know you've been working on homework for numerous years now, but I bet you'll like this assignment. There was once a wonderful man named Jim Valvano. At his SB acceptance speech, he remarked on what he considered to be a full day. He said that for a full day, you need to do three things. You need to laugh, you need to think, and you need to cry. That is my assignment for all of you tonight. As your last day as high school students, there will be lots of picture taking, socializing, and just general chaos. I want to make sure that in the next day at some point, you laugh, you think, and you cry. They say laughter is the best medicine. Personally, I think that's penicillin, but what do I know? Laughter isn't just what you do when someone makes a funny face or when someone tells a bad penicillin joke. Laughter signifies bonds between people. It's something that exists in all the significant relationships in our lives. You laugh with your family, your friends, your coworkers, teachers, and of course, classmates. Second, deep thoughts should be included in your, in your day. Think about all the work you've put in your education. Think about all the good times you've had in Hopkinton. Think about how lucky you are to have the people in your life who care about you. Think about how lucky, you, oh, sorry. Think about what you want to do and where you want to go. This deep reflective thought should remind you of what you're thankful for, how you interact with the people around you in your life, and what your plans are for the future. Third, crying should run out your day. You should have such strong emotions that you are physically moved to tears. But crying isn't just about being upset or grief. It can encapsulate joy and excitement. So whether it's having to move on past high school or elation and never having to take another benchmark assessment, please make sure you cry. I want to see all of you crying at some point the next day. 
I guarantee that if you live your life with full days, you will be happy and successful in whatever you choose to do. I want to wish all of you the best of luck and an excellent summer. Thank you.